What's good with y'all, man? So basically, I just want to talk about today basically how EA has still not given DeAndre Swift equals. Can we sign this guy literally an entire month ago? And he does not have Eagles cap now. A lot of you guys are probably like, well, he only has like a 93 overall card. Who actually cares? It's not like it's usable. Well, one, actually, the card is usable. Two, uh, he's a 93. For, it was promo, was it? The month space shit. I don't even know what the promo's card, right? He came from that promo. It's a 93 overall card. He actually has two different cards, right? So there's the one card where it has like four or five different built in abilities, which I know with this new 6 AP system, you really can't use that. But he has another card. And it actually gets good discounts and you can pick what ability you want to put on it. And his stats are actually like really good. And I just want to try him out. You know what I mean? Like it's a new Eagle. Like, you know, we signed him a month ago. Like there's no reason he shouldn't have Eagles camp. The thing that really doesn't make sense to me why they haven't gave it to him yet. So basically I want to say probably a week after we traded for Swift and shit. The Falcons went ahead and got, uh, I forgot what corner it was. It's like flower, uh, flowers. You, you know what I'm talking about. They went and got him. And literally, he got Atlanta Cam, uh, Atlanta Cam, I want to say the exact same week. Like, they updated him, and they got him his chemistry the same exact week. Now, this is like a week after we had traded for Swift. So, you know, they're already, like, behind on that. But it's like, why did they go ahead and give somebody else that just got uh, on a new team? Why did he get the Cam right? Like, like wh wh where is Swift's Cam at? Like, wh what are we doing here, man? Like, I don't understand, like, what the problem is. Like, it always seems like... When it's for the Eagles, they always just, things are just weird, man. They give, they've been giving guys, like, we get, like, sometimes we get, like, godlike cards, and they just give guys weird releases. They go ahead and give guys the weirdest ability buckets, right? Like, how the hell Carl Michael don't get zero AP lurker? We're honestly at the point now where I feel like EA actually doesn't even know that DeAndre Swift is on the Philadelphia Eagles, and some people were like, well, did, like, the trade actually go through? Like, is he on the team? Like, the guy was literally in the locker room and dabbed up Jalen Hurts. Like, the guy is in Lincoln. Like, he's in the, he was in the link. He is literally in Philadelphia as we speak. Like, I just, like, I, I don't understand. Like, like, I feel like this is something that shouldn't take long. All you're doing is going on to the card. You're adding an additional team count. Like, that's really it. That, like, there, you're not, you're not changing a card art. You're not changing a number, right? Which are things that actually should be in Madden, right? In Madden 24. Madden 24, we should be able to change guys' jersey numbers. I'm not saying to any random number. I'm saying to, like, jersey numbers that they have worn in the NFL, right? It took them forever to give us the, the thing where we were able to actually change card arts, right? Like, I don't know. It's just simple things that, the, that these guys, EA Sports, can't do. And it, it just kind of, like, brings me back to say, like, how, like, anytime there's, like, a glitch in Madden, like, for example, right, there's a glitch in Madden. I dropped a video talking about it yesterday where you can literally lag switch your opponent. Like, you know, there was the freeze glitch in the beginning of the year. You know, sometimes it's just some great ground breaking thing. Like, remember the beginning of the year, the loop blitz at a 3 3. Like, there's just always something wrong with the game. And it either takes months and months to fix. Like, and I, like, like sometimes the simplest shit or it we have to wait till man 24 and it's actually used as a marketing thing like hey man 24 this is gonna be a new feature which was something that was supposed to get fixed in the last game it's just like the thing is it's so much stuff that like needs to be worked on in madden 24 like it's honestly ridiculous like the amount of things like what are we gonna do about abilities like you know can we get some new features maybe added like we got i remember this year when they were when they remember like there was it was like a big thing when they were about to introduce mutt practice now don't get me wrong introducing mutt practice was is a huge thing we've been asking for this for a while don't get me wrong about that but i remember like they were like hyping it up it was around like it was around like i want to i don't know was it like november maybe I, I don't remember maybe december i don't remember when it was but i remember they were hyping it up like crazy everybody's like what do they think they're about to add something like we are honestly i thought it was gonna be cross-platform which by the way it's been confirmed in mad 24 is gonna be cross-platform which i can't wait to see how that works which I, I don't have a problem with it i don't really care if it's cross-platform or not it doesn't make a difference to me my thing is i feel like the servers are like you gotta think the servers are so bad just on the individual gens, wait, wait, wait till, oh, you get even more people on there? I, I can't wait to see how bad that's going to be, how, how bad them servers are going to be. But like I was saying is when they were adding up practice and hyping it up, like they were making it seem like they were adding something great. Like like you hyped up something that should have been in the game off the rip. Like 
All right, like, what are we talking about here, man? A lot of people been asking me, they've been asking me, what do you think the biggest change that needs to be made in Madden 24 is? And off rip, my answer is, I don't know, to be completely honest with you, I don't know what the hell to tell you because it's so much shit wrong with the game that, you know, you, you could pick something and just run with it. But if I did, I, I would have to say abilities right now. Like how abilities are, where it's at right now, Madden is not very fun right now. I mean, do I still play it? Yes, but the second I, I sniff just a little bit of bullshit, oh, I'm off and I'm out of there. I don't play that because it, it, it's just it's just like you got the you got all like just look at this gameplay right here. Look at all these X factors on the goddamn field. These guys are gonna insta shed linemen. Like it's just not very good and fun. You know, it's, it's to a point where not only can you put KOs on pretty much everybody on the field, you could put, mo like, guys are running man, right? Put in multiple, and I mean multiple different KOs on guys on the field. I mean, this is, like, if you're a guy that, like, really only plays head-to-head -head and, like, you play this shit, it's not fun. Like, it is just hell on earth playing this thing right now. And the thing is, really, you know, EA doesn't care because you got, you know, these idiots that sit here and buy bundles. It's just people that are buying bundles right now still in the game. They're, they're giving EA money when it when it's a bad product. Like, the same guy that goes out and buy a bundle, you know, five minutes later is going to be like, yeah, the game sucks. But, you know, you're just giving them money. Like, you, the people that buy bundles are actually one of the biggest problems with the game because you just keep giving them money. So, in their head, they're thinking, okay, we're making a good product. They're liking it because why else would they be spending money on it? In reality, half you guys are idiots. Long story short, basically, though, in Madden 24, I, I do feel like we, we got to... We, we got to change this the, the way the AP is. Now, well, EA is never going to get rid of abilities. So if you're one of the guys that's like, just flat out get rid of abilities, it's just not realistic. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen. Uh, but the way they did it this year, please do not bring it back like that next year. Like, that's what I'm going to be waiting all summer. I'm going to be waiting all summer for the ability news. I want to hear what the hell is going on. That's, that's one of some of the early things. I can't wait to get my hands on the beta because I want to I think we're getting the beta in June, right? I think we're getting into June. So... The base is going to be here before you know it, so I'm going to be excited to play that, because I remember playing the Madden 23 beta. You know, actually, I don't even know why I'm excited to play the beta, because that's the thing, I played the Madden 23 beta, right? And it was actually good, like, it was actually really good, and then, because we played Mud on there, we played Mud on there, you know what I mean? And it did, the, the gameplay completely changed when that game came out, and I remember, too, when there was, some, there was some key patch notes that I was reading over going into 23. And it was some really key things that I was reading. I'm like, huh, this is weird because this is like going to be completely different than the beta. And God was it, man. So we're going to see how this Mad 24 beta is, man. It's going to be here before you know it. Uh, let me know. What, what do you guys think, man? What are some like big changes you want to see going into Madden 24? And, you know, why the hell does DeAndre Swift not have Eagles, Kim? 